Exchanging business cards is a common practice in many cultures, and observing proper etiquette can leave a positive impression and strengthen business relationships. Here are some key points to keep in mind. Preserve first impressions. Mastering follow-up etiquette. Navigating cultural differences. Stick with me in today's video as we explore business card etiquette. Manners on the go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Manners on the Go. You know it's always a pleasure to have you here. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any updates. I'd like to welcome you again. The fact is the world is evolving and so should you. In today's digital age, where most communications happens through emails and social media platforms, the importance and relevance of business card should not be undermined. A well-designed and appropriately used business card can leave a lasting impression and create opportunities for future collaboration and partnerships. In this fast-paced world of business, a small piece of paper holds immense power. I'm speaking about the business card, which you all know is an essential tool for professional network and communication. Understanding the nuances of business card etiquette is essential to make the most out of this simple yet significant gesture. Stick with me in today's video as we explore business card etiquette. Exchanging business cards is a common practice in many cultures, and observing proper etiquette can leave a positive impression and strengthen business relationships. Here are some key points to keep in mind. First, preserve first impressions. How? By keeping your business card pristine. As you walk into a networking event or have a one-on-one -on -one connection with someone and with your immaculately designed business cards, remember the first rule always keep them pristine. Avoid pockets where they may get crumbled or dusty. Instead, carry them in a dedicated card holder or a clean wallet, ensuring they remain fresh and presentable. Number two, always carry your business cards. Running out of cards or forgetting to bring them can be seen as unprofessional. Be prepared to exchange cards whenever you attend networking events, conferences, or business meetings. For my female friends that have many bags and clutches, it is a good idea to have your cards distributed to all of them. Never run out of your cards. Number three, don't be overly pushy. While it is essential to offer your card, don't be overly pushy or aggressive about it. Respect the other person's choice if they don't want to exchange cards at the moment. Also, don't be a card pusher. Your cards are not flyers and shouldn't be doled out as such. If I'll give another important tip here, please don't offer your card to a high-ranking person first, unless it's requested of you. Number four, don't deface your card. If you wouldn't put a tattoo on your face, then don't write on your card. It is the face of your business. If your telephone or job designation changes, then change your card as well. They're not expensive to do so. It is wrong to deface your card with ink. Also, avoid writing on the received business card unless the other person gives you permission to do so. Writing on someone's card can be seen as disrespectful. Number five, accept cards graciously. When receiving a business card, accept it with either your right hand or both hands, if appropriate in the cultural context. For example, Europeans are very formal when exchanging business cards. You do it with both hands. In less formal America, you could exchange with your right hand, but both are acceptable here in Africa, depending on the status of the giver. Also, take a moment to look at the card before putting it away. This action demonstrates that you value the exchange. Finally, timing is key when exchanging business cards. Wait for an appropriate moment during the conversation and present your card with confidence. Make eye contact and offer the card respectfully to the recipient. Similarly, receive a card with both hands, examine it briefly and express your appreciation or comment on the design. This shows your interest in the other party's business. Now that you've collected numerous business cards, it's crucial to keep track of the connection. So let's move to the second phase, mastering follow-up etiquette. I know a lot of us are guilty of either taking a long time before following up or not following up at all. 
Ideally, this should be done within 24 hours of making a new connection, which exemplifies your professionalism and keeps the interaction alive. Reach out via email expressing your gratitude for the meeting and reaffirming your interest in further collaboration. First thing you should do is connect on the right platforms. Modern Etiquette also dictates reaching out on social media platforms, connect with your new contacts on LinkedIn, highlighting the reasons for connecting and expressing your desire to stay in touch. Remember, maintaining these connections go beyond mere formality. It lays the foundation for potential business opportunities. Make sure your connection is worthwhile and not superficial. Another tip is to make a bit of reference. Though the business card may not carry so much information, it is important to keep the key ones in mind, which is an essential etiquette by using business cards as a reference during phone conversations or virtual meetings. By noting the relevant details from your card in your meeting notes, you show respect and accurate recall, even in the absence of the physical card, because we're global citizens. Now let's talk about navigating cultural differences. As business transcends borders, it is crucial to be aware of cultural differences in business card etiquette. In many countries, the exchange of business cards holds deep significance. For instance, in Japan, the proper way to present your business card or meishi is with both hands, holding the card from the corners. Offer it face down, allowing the recipient to read it before putting it away. In the Middle East, business cards are exchanged with great respect. Take a moment to review the card received and don't Place it in your back pocket or wallet as it may be seen as disrespectful. Embracing cultural diversity with card etiquette creates a sense of inclusion and respect, enhancing business relationships across borders. So the next time you find yourself at a networking event or engaging in a business meeting, remember the power of that small piece of paper. It represents not only your professional identity, but also your dedication to forging meaningful connections. With proper business card etiquette, you can leave a lasting and positive impression, opening doors to a world of opportunities. Which of those points resonated with you? I'd like to hear that in the comments. Please share this with your friends, like the video, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. See you again. Goodbye.